One man who has impressed him so far and who has delivered in his first five is 21-year-old Janae Bostad in the white trunks already on the back foot. 5-0, and oh, all by stoppage. But importantly, Dan, they haven't been early blowouts. He has got the rounds in. Yeah, he has. And he's uh, he showed us that he carries power late. Very good talent, but this is something new altogether. And Ryan Amos in the royal blue trunks with gold pattern on them, ostensibly a tight guard pressure fighter, but he's actually got a little bit more than that. He can switch it as well, and as we saw in the first contest of the night between Louis Sylvester and Adam Coat, a solid, disciplined, strong pressure fighter with a well honed engine can be really problematic for a fighter who likes space and time to get into a rhythm. If he can take Bostan out of that early or not allow him to get into one, that's where he can have success in this contest. Grant Smith saying, don't give him an easy entry into range, just fence with that lead hand, and he just walks him onto a beautiful lead uppercut. That was a beautiful shot, Chris, it really was. Lovely left, just took his head off the line, sort of into the danger zone if you'd like, but shot that left hand up the middle. Lovely shot, really, really was. I had in my, my notes, Darren, a, a couple of fights ago, and I don't use this lightly, they're, they're just shades of the Nassim Hamed style there, which has clearly bled into him from the early Ingalls days, the stories there that he was exposed to. He's got with it the brilliant fundamentals of the Grant Smith fighters, but generates power from both stances, from angles that the textbooks say you're not really supposed to. And then when you just see little bits of swag like that, the confidence, the relaxation, those sorts of things, just gives you a bit of excitement for, for the future. Bit of a shot after that body, body shot for, for Bostan is to screw an uppercut right through. Oh, takes a left hook from Amos, good shot inside. Yeah. He's a bit loose with that right hand as he threw the left hook. Well, that, was the, that was the side that he was vulnerable against uh, Linos from Southport a couple of fights ago. But he took the shot as well, but that was a, a solid left hand from Amos and he's landed two or three of those the last couple of rounds. And just like the first fight with Sylvester and Coach, Amos will not expect to be winning the boxing match early. But he will fancy that he can drag this one into difficult territory late. Sends that left hand into the body. Inside, you just see there, oh, it goes into a kind of almost Philly shells kind of shape. Yeah. Amos, that's where you want to jab the body. You can look at that right hand over the top. Switching himself. Now Amos, back to orthodox, though. Shoelace of Amos just come undone on the right boot. I'm sure the referee will stop this in a sec, but... Bustan, again, effective on the back foot, looking for the uppercuts. Right, step back, stop boxing, step back. Left hook, just as he threw the left to the body. Yeah. Boss Dan, there was a left hook to the head from Amos. The timing from Amos. Yeah, it was. Knows what he wants to do. A little more success these last couple of rounds in doing it. That was good from Boss Dan. He doubled up with the left hook to the head. Then body, nice high guard from Amos, but he dropped that left to the body. Good work from both men in that round. And that was the problem in the first. Carl Hayward fight. He went to the cards, it was a, a draw. He was physically the stronger, pressed the action, held him to the ropes for most of the contest, but just allowed him to work in those moments with him. And didn't impose himself enough in terms of punches landed to definitively take hold of the contest. He did so, though, in the second fight. This is the best version of him so far. But he's in against an altogether different level of opposition than what we've seen in Janae Boss down so far. But he's making him work here. Exits on that right hook, left hand down the middle from Southpaw. Lovely work. And every time he looks to exit on that left hand side off the hook, he's blocking that exit, and making it messy, making it uncomfortable. This is what we knew he had to do. He's not winning the fight, but he is making it competitive. I just think he's got to work the body a bit more. Generally, like I say, just be busier. Start downstairs, work upstairs. He's got a lot of target to work with. You see Boston, you can see an awful lot taller. 
stiff jab to the body, come back with a right hand from Amos. Touching with that. Shout poor lead. Lovely combination behind it. And again, Amos takes it, walks forward. It's a great experience for, for Boston to get over to this. The, the States with Dalton. Work with Manny Robles. Showed me some clips of his sparring. Boston and he was in some wars. Showed some real toughness and that doing the world of good. Following Bostan round the ring as well, he needs to cut the ring off. Amos got to try and back Bostan into the corner. Gives him an opportunity then to work away. Just following the younger man round the ring. I feel he's got to, to go all out in this yeah. uh, last four minutes, three and a half minutes that we've got left in the fight. He needs to get anything from this because he's had pockets of success, enough to give him some hope at least, but he has got to come out all guns blazing in the eighth round. Hasn't been the relentless pace that thought that he might try and set. I think that was largely because he got a little bit hurt in the second round. It just knew the danger in over committing, walking onto those straight shots. It just caused a little bit of hesitation. The feints have worked a little bit better from Boston, but as the rounds have gone on, he's got a little bit closer, but getting closer without the work. Yeah, too predictable with the work, Chris, from Amos. Yeah. Loading up a bit wild, and when you're in someone, We've got the reactions like Boston, you've got to do a bit more than that. Right hand to the body, left hook, right hand upstairs, jack to the body. And it is Janae Boston as we head into this final minute, who has imposed himself on these first two minutes of the final round. Yeah, he was looking to hold a little Amos inside, some good shot picking from Boston. The uppercut again, look, trying to draw out the lead of Amos, he can fire back with the uppercut, missing on that occasion. Well, you heard the slap as that left hand just shoveled into the body from Southport. Hands are low now, Amos swings with that right hand. Well, we found out plenty about today, boss hand tonight. Credit to Ryan Amos for pressing him doing all that he could to unsettle him, to not make himself an easy target. Left hand up the middle again. And for Bostan, the first time he's really had to, to think his way through a contest, to solve a few problems, and he's done so well. Again, Amos barrels forward, using that physical strength. Bostan knows he's three or four years away from his physical prime. And he's three or four years away from coming into his boxing prime as well. For a young man of... 21 to be operating where he is already. The skill set from, from Orthodox and from Southport still a long, long way from the finished article, but at this stage of his career, uh, it's pretty impressive. It, it... Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds here in Sheffield, we go to referee Kieran McCann's scorecard. It reads 79 to 73 for your winner. He's still undefeated, Junaid Bustan.